All right, class, let's go on another field trip. Hey class, welcome back, Mr. G here. So I'm switching gears a little bit. First off, TARDIS mug. Uh, this is kind of, I found a racer. So TARDIS mug, I'm a big fan of Doctor Who. If you haven't seen the episode of Vincent and the Doctor, required viewing, must stop for this now. Go find that video, come back. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on that personal favor of mine. I cry, I do. It's the chef's kiss episode. Now, before we dive into this, I really wanted to kind of go over with, I know I did another video before this for our history with the VR. We were checking out Salvador Dali's work. Uh, the piece was called The Dream. I know it's some architectural piece by Minette, I think. So as we're diving into this one, I really wanted to go with a, what it's like to experience this. I think that's something that we, we need to impress upon our students. Like you guys are experiencing this artwork along with us. This is a journey that we're taking together and that's what's impactful that's what's important and now diving into this work this is by far one of the most iconic pieces of vincent van gogh's this piece here starry night if you don't know it i don't know where you've been uh but first we we're plunging into the painting itself this is something that most of us as, as the art teachers we dream of this and we go in and we see not only the brush strokes the colors the vibrant life that he had in his work which was in contrast to him he was not that um happy-go-lucky person uh, but to actually see the 2d and 3d represent the 2d representation becoming a 3d living breathing entity as you're walking through the streets of this small town that he's painted uh again he was staying in a hospital for his mental health at this time and he would take trips to a nearby village and that was became the point of reference for him that's what he saw and painted from life now for starry night the most iconic thing in that image is the sky seeing the swirling patterns of the sky above you and having the stars and the clouds all this swirling mass above you actually seeing it in a three-dimensional form is it, it was so I, I really was at a loss for words when i first saw it Continuing on back through that little village, you come to that iconic yellow house. This was a house that he uh, stayed in when he was living in France. There was a bedroom that he wanted to paint realistically, but at the same time have it slightly skewed. So the back corner in here, now it looks normal, but in the painting it was actually off to change the way that you see that you perceived items. Um, now as an artist, we always are like, wondering what else was in this room what else was ident identifiable elements within the room that we didn't see in the painting and they did incorporate some of those elements so you see a little more specific specific elements of the paintings of his own paintings that he hung in this bedroom uh the orange bed it was it was such a surreal experience to experience this along with some of my students because we were kind of live streaming this at the time and they were able to see they were able to see me kind of walk through this and it was one of those just vastly surreal awesome experiences and i i just encourage you if you if you have access to vr and go through that in a in that kind of perspective it's it's life-changing it's just awesome definitely check it out All right, so we're gonna cut back to our regular scheduled programming at this time, so stay tuned for what else I have to say. Awesome class. I hope that you are enjoying these art history lessons that I'm doing right now. I always love coming across new tools that just inspire me to make videos for you guys and just give me excitement because that's always much more fun. We have a teacher who's engaged and excited in the stuff that they're doing. And you know, it was one of those things I got this because I was doing it for exercise and I thought that this would just be a fun tool to have in my arsenal. And then as I'm starting to explore more and more of the things that I'm finding out that we can explore these different locations around the world we can go to these different museums i'm trying to look into some museum tours now for some future videos that 
I'm working on because the more that I can get you guys to experience some of the stuff that I do in my own class or things that other art teachers do that I'm like, I would love to do that. But due to where I'm located and where they're located and trying to get those things to, to work together, it's, it's just sometimes hard. And I'm trying to find those ways to bridge those gaps as much as possible. So please leave something in the comments of what you thought. If you want to keep going down this series, if you want to change it up a little bit, uh, I'm, I just think it's interesting. So love to hear your thoughts. And with that, let's go ahead and wrap up as we always do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all the various platforms. Got to get the message out there to as many students that we possibly can. Don't forget that if you had a question, comment, or concern today during class, don't forget to raise those hands in the comments below. As always, I will see you guys next class. So until then, later, guys.